All right, and uh, welcome back, guys. So we did uh, get DM Ultra and Dark Aether for the Street Sweeper yesterday. Uh, it was officially released and is unlockable. And uh, the more and more I've used this gun, uh, the more and more I realized of how just devastating this gun is in multiplayer. In zombies, it's kind of pretty garbage, but uh, on the multiplayer side of things, I legitimately think that this gun is going to completely change the meta, um, probably in hardcore, in Nuketown, and any small range engagement maps, because this gun is just extremely deadly. It is very powerful. It is kind of mind boggling how strong it can be. And especially when you're using this on a hardcore nuke town, uh, I feel like as we see more and more people unlock this, this is what we're going to see the majority of people using in a hardcore nuke town. It's so easy to use, it's so spammy, it's fully automatic, so you just have to hold down the trigger. And I mean, what I mean by it's OP, I mean it's not the type of gun where you're gonna pull it out and get a nuke, and you're gonna get a nuke and get a nuke with it back to back to back. You're gonna be able to pull it out and get three or four kills really easy and quickly. And I and I feel like just about any type of player will be able to pick this up and just really easily get a few kills here and there. And kind of where it shines the most, this gun takes ridiculously long to reload. And that is how they have balanced this gun, right? So what Treyarch did to balance this weapon, uh, they made it have an extremely long reload time. It's very powerful, has an extremely long reload time. But when playing something like Nuketown, especially if you put the 18 round drum mag on, People aren't reloading with this weapon at all. Honestly, with this magazine on, you can quickly get nine kills and pretty much be done with it. So when I use this weapon, I legitimately pull it out, I'll get nine kills with it, and then at that point, I'll either die or I'll swap to my primary or pick someone else's weapon up. So really the main meta with this weapon is just to get a bunch of kills with it, then dump it. Pick up a gun off the ground, uh, respawn with full ammo again, and you're good to go. And that's really why I think the balancing for this gun kind of failed is mainly because if you just make it have a really bad reload time, people are just not going to reload it. And that's kind of my main thing. I just don't reload the gun and it works great. Now, while I'm running this in Hardcore Nuketown, I'll give you my class setup real quick. Obviously, I use the big boy drum mag. Uh, this makes you reload 32% slower, but we're not going to be reloading, so it does not matter. Uh, for body, I put on the hip fire accuracy because we're going to be spamming the crap out of this while hip firing. The barrel, we want that plus 30% extra damage range because since we're playing hardcore the damage itself doesn't matter this is always going to be a one shot however uh the only really adjustment i would make for this class if you're playing core uh, i would possibly go with the uh, damage barrel or the effective damage rate plus fire rate barrel however if you are playing hardcore i myself would be going with that extra 30 percent range because on nuketown you can hit people ridiculously far with this then when it comes to the muzzle i run the duck bill choke for that wider pellet spray because like i said it doesn't really matter how many pellets hit the target on hardcore nuketown it's going to be a one shot pretty much at all ranges and then for the uh, stock attachment i run the wired stock to get that extra sprint to fire time all right so so the striker looks in game with the dm ultra like i said we did unlock this yesterday pretty quickly uh definitely not too hard to get uh, all the requirements here on nuketown with it uh, another thing <laughs> to kind of point out with this this is a secondary shotguns in this game are secondary so not only can you have the striker on top of that you can run a mac 10 or a grows or any other primary weapon you want uh on top of that so it's not like even running out of ammo with this and having to reload is that bad of a thing because you can legitimately just pull out your actual primary once you run out of ammo like that's it like so once we run out of ammo we have got 18 shots with this which can probably on average get us about nine kills or so swap out to our mac 10 or our groza and then just keep going like nothing ever happened so the whole using reload time to balance a weapon uh not not really a good idea when it's something uh like a shotgun that has just so much kill potential and then you just swap it out and another thing you're going to see on a hardcore nuketown a lot is gung ho has the ability to stop your sprint out time like this if you hold a grenade and run uh you actually stop your sprint out time and this is what most of the people are doing in hardcore nuketown essentially they're pulling out their grenades and they're just running and uh just you can just non-stop spam because as you can see now it doesn't actually put your gun away it's one of the added benefits of gung ho at, at this point i think gung ho is probably one of the most broken perks like this I don't know, I think they need to nerf gung-ho because trust me, the more and more you'll play Nuketown, the more and more you're gonna run into people running around like this. And you'll see it in pretty much every kill cam right now in Hardcore Nuketown. Like just about everyone, especially now that uh, people are pulling out the striker to use this, to get this done, just about everyone's gonna be doing it. But even if they did nerf gung-ho and uh, took away that feature of it, this is still gonna be OP. It's just that in combination with this, cause look, you can 
Oh, see, I mean, that guy's doing it. Watch this. No, oh, it's hardcore nuke time. Never mind. I can't watch the skill game. But uh, yeah, that guy's running around with it. I mean, you can see, you can actively see when the person's doing it because they're holding like a Simtex or whatever they have above their head. But yeah, yep. And see, like essentially they'll grab it and they'll run to spawns. But uh, that's not the only reason this is OP. Even without this, the whole, uh, the whole, sh the whole striker and spaz would still be ridiculous. But I do think, I do think Gung Ho needs a nerf because it, it's getting old. It's getting old real quick. But this is, this is Nuketown now. As you see. Uh, how many people on the enemy team are rocking shotguns? Just look at the kill feed. Look at that right now. Uh, and I understand it's like that right now because a lot of people are starting to get the striker. But trust me, once more and more people get the striker, I think it's just going to continue on. Like, people are using the spaz right now to unlock the striker. But even after it's done, I th I think this is kind of the life in, uh, in hardcore nuketown and even core nuketown. We were using this in core earlier. This thing is still just insane in core. Like, it is... It's a monster. An absolute monster and you do rank up really really quick while using this because uh a lot of people have been playing hardcore for the one shot one kill medal so not only do you get the kill for killing someone in this you always get a one shot one metal kill if you're using like an ar or like a shotgun because you're always going to kill in one shot so that's an extra 100 xp per kill but the added benefit of using a shotgun is it's really easy to get long shots with the shotgun so especially if you're just rushing their spawn like at these longer ranges here you're gonna get a long shot every time so not only like right there that was a long shot that was a long shot and a one shot kill uh, if i kill anyone spawning in over here it's gonna be a long shot and a one shot kill so not only can you just get a bunch of easy free kills like long shot one shot kill just look at all these medals all of those medals are extra xp every single one of them and it is it is just it's great for leveling up it's easy to get kills and it's quite fun to just spam around with the shotgun. So I don't think the uh, this shotgun. What did I just steal? Oh, I've never used an RCX in this game before. That was a weird animation. Um, but yeah, so it the shotgun meta is gonna stick around for a while. And I I don't know if they're gonna nerf the striker. Like it's. Oh, I hope so. They're gonna have to do something more than make it reload slowly. But uh, shotguns in general have been kind of an issue in hardcore Nuketown. Or uh, just just. Hardcore in general. The spaz is ridiculous in hardcore. And just a bunch of stuff like that. So, uh, I think it is going to start to shed more light to it now that, I mean, this gun's in the game. But, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully we see a nerf. If not, enjoy the lot last. Get a bunch of free, easy XP by getting all these ridiculous medals by just running around with the shotgun on hardcore nuke down. Oh, man. All right. So, here's the end of action report. And as I was talking about, here is the end of the game screen and this is why you get so much xp for doing this we got an extra 1300 kills just for using the shotgun for one shot one kill medals and then an extra 700 on top of that for the long shots and this was a very mediocre game i did not do well at all this game this was just a very basic kind of mad game and we almost got or we got an extra 2000 xp just for using the shotgun pretty much for getting these long shots and these one shot kills for playing hardcore for playing hardcore and using the shotgun um, so trust me on a good game you're gonna get an insane amount of XP but even on bad games that's an extra 200 XP just for using this puppy so uh, yeah it's uh, it's easy to use amazing for XP so it just checks all of the boxes guys so yeah how, how do you feel about the uh, the street sweeper do you think it's OP I think I think the majority of people are gonna agree to that but yeah, it's gonna be it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time oh hey look at that you guys made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching to this point of the video boys I appreciate it uh, I do want to take a uh, moment to give a special thanks to everyone who's decided to become a member. I really do appreciate it. It uh, means a lot to me and it uh, definitely helps kind of grow the channel. You've helped us unlock some amazing emotes and a ton of other cool stuff like that. And it does really help support me and kind of let me continue in this endeavor. But uh, I do want to give a huge special thanks to everyone who's taken it a step above. And I want to give a huge thanks to the first person in the world to become an unlocker us plus dude. Slushy, you're an absolute legend. You were the first person to reach the final tier unlocked membership. Uh, yeah, the Unlocker Plus Plus. The, uh, the final one, the big one at the very end, dude. Slushy, you're an absolute legend, man. Thank you so much for that. And uh, yeah, I guess with that, we're going to roll out this video, boys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.